Hey guys, this is Dr. Sean over at Natural Body Works, and today we're going to be going over this uh, Meridian Acupuncture Point Stimulator Pin here, this little thing here, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit how it works in the arm. So we're going to show some points on the radius, uh, the radial side of the arm and the ulnar side of the arm, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways that it works and how you can get some of the muscle spasms to go, especially if you're having like hand or muscle pain or something like that. But first, let me show you a couple of the points that we're going to be doing. I have here my handy dandy uh, dry erase marker pen, or not dry erase, this is a sharpie marker. And I'm going to show you a couple points that we're going to be working on. Now, in acupuncture we have a point large intestine 4 right there. Okay. Now large intestine <clears throat> 5, 6, and 7 are up through here and this is exactly where the uh, radial nerve passes through. The radial nerve, as you remember, comes back up from uh, through here, along the on behind the radius, down through here, and then travels down under, and then goes up to the thumb and the forefinger. Okay, even goes into this finger here, and then we have ulnar comes into this guy over here. But here we have a couple of acupuncture points that we can use. Other ones we use is large intestine um, seven, which is about here, and this is where we have some crossing over a muscle. We're going to see what that does. Other ones we're going to be interested in really is down through this area through here. We either have uh, large intestine 11 or Saint Jao or a triple burner um, 10. That's also where the radial nerve kind of comes off. You can find where it works by using this little pen. I'm going to turn it on here. Let's say, turn it on to 2, say. And I'm going to hold it and you're going to see, hopefully, as we get in here, you can maybe see a little bit of twitching. I get in here and do this. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. You can't see too much. I'm going to turn it. There we go. Now what I feel is I feel it traveling down and through this section here and this one here. Getting a little bit of finger twitch, not too much. Again, not much, I'm not feeling much. I can feel the actual, the pulse in here. If you can follow that little red dot, you can see where it's pulsing. But to find the actual muscle, you may be able to see, ooh, not right here. So here's, here's our spot. I can feel the radial nerve it goes right into this section here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to travel down here and see if I can find. Ooh, right here I feel it in these two fingers, right along the distribution of <clears throat> the radial nerve on there and here. Whoa, wow, wow! I can feel that much, much more because it's way more close to the surface, all the way into the thumb. Again, the thumb. Again, the thumb. And here the medial part of the thumb. Actually, that. There we go. Now we can see a little bit of twitch in this muscle. There we go. Da, 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 that's at large intestine four. So we're getting some of that to kind of work. If we get in through some of these other areas, you may be able to see and kind of focus around. This is a very typical part here for wrist pain, um, including hand pain and stuff like that. So that you get your radial compartment through this section, and this is where we would feel. Ah, actually, that's pretty good. Get in there, and I can feel it moving on the muscle itself. You can't see it, but I can definitely feel the electrical current in there. And it doesn't pinch because my skin's pretty moist right now. I feel that all the way down through this section, so that's a different part of that nerve. This is really great. Kind of will loosen up some of these extensor muscles. You have the extensor digitorum, the extensor carpi um, uh, muscles and guys like that. Extensor digitorums are big guy through here, and that one does this with the hand. So what it does is extends the digits. That's all it does. And that one gets tightened up as we start working with things. As we come up in here, we may be able to see some of the... Oh, now this one here, I can feel all the way down to the front of the thumb. And this, we're actually starting to get part of the median nerve in this section here, and that's going to be this side of the wrist. There we go. This is probably the uh, brachioradialis we're starting to catch a piece of here. I feel it all the way down, and you can see it twitching all the way down into the wrist. You find more of the motor point right there. This is a great part for tension in the wrist and hand. And you see it just moving basically at that uh, about five hertz or five cycles per second. I'm trying to just let everything relax and go from there. <coughs> As we work our way down too, this point really doesn't um, attach to a meridian point per se. It's more of a motor point of the nerve. As we can move it around, we see different applications of it through here. Don't see anything. Okay, 
this one here. Now, as we get into this section here, we're starting to get into what's the pericardium uh, um, meridian. This is PC right through here. And just so we can feel, we may get, ooh, okay, this, I'm feeling definitely the median nerve. I feel it through this section and this section right here in my hand. So this would be someone who has like, say, carpal tunnel. Ooh, lordy, oh man, I can feel that a lot. Here too, we're starting to get that thumb. There we go. So you get some of the, as we come down and up, we'll come away from it. It doesn't work so much. Move down, and we start to get that twitching and tingling feel. That's pretty nice. Okay, and through here, come down through this section. Oh, lordy. This is heart meridian down through here. Yikes. And this is ulnar nerve right there. I can feel it coming right through this section, right through here. Here's a heart eight right there. Ah, we'll feel it totally through my finger just along the meridian, which is pretty freaking cool. As we come down through this section here, <clears throat> we can see ah, not much going on here. Ah, I feel it again, catching again that, that um, this is the ulnar nerve right through there. Really good contact through there, really good contact through this section, uh, and really good through here. So really when you're working on, on the muscle, I'm gonna turn that to zero. <clears throat> when you're working on the muscle, we've got the origins up through here of the extensors, for example, and the, and the flexors, the origin or start point is here and then they travel down this way. But the nerve has to attach somewhere in the belly. That's the neuromuscular junction, which I talked about in other videos. Sometimes they match with the acupuncture points, like I showed you here, large intestine uh, points, or uh, these are all large intestines, um, triple burners over here, down through here is heart, uh, pericardium right through here. Those ones, um, <clears throat> they don't really match with any of the, the muscle points sometimes. They match many times with the um, motor neuron point, really, is there where the neuromuscular junction is where the nerve attaches to the um, muscle and allows it to uh, send the information from my brain down there to tell it to move or to stay toned or to lose tone or something like that. And this pen can help loosen those up. So um, again, this is just that Meridian. They're pretty cheap. You can find them online. I have them here at the office if you ever want to get one. Um, they're pretty neat. They last quite a while. Um, they're definitely interesting looking. There we go. Let's see you get some little, get this little flash here. And that's our <clears throat> um, cycles per second or frequency, as you can see. That's the pulsing you're going to get. The strength, I really didn't find a whole bunch of difference with the strength technically. So um, I'm going to say that doesn't do anything. Maybe a little bit. I think when I was measuring with the multimeter before, I was getting like a tenth of a volt difference up to a volt difference, but it wasn't really appreciable. And I don't notice it if I turn it up and use it on my hand anyway. So anyway, <clears throat> just Dr. Sean over here with the, uh, the Meridian AccuPoint stimulator pen. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Give us a call or something. You know, I'll put the phone number up here and I'll put the address and stuff like that over here. And you can give us a holler and, and uh, watch some of the other videos. I have a couple more things we're going to do and we'll go from there. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye.